The Champions League is back. Welcome to today's video, guys, because I'm going to be previewing Barcelona's delicately poised tie up against Napoli. It was one all in Naples, and it's really, you know, on a knife edge right now. Barcelona, for me, simply have to win against Napoli. We have to progress to the quarterfinals, and it is on. Because kickoff will be coming to us live from an empty Camp Nou stadium at 8 p.m. UK time, 9 p.m. local time. And well, the empty Camp Nou, it will be sad, it will be weird. It's the same case for everyone now. There's no fans in the stadium. And just for us personally, you know, on the return leg, that will hurt us. But Right now, it's all about attitude, it's all about application here. Barca know that if we win our next four games in the Champions League, we are going to be champions of Europe yet again. And let's actually just dive straight in with the preview. Let's start with our club, Barcelona. And, well, we will be extremely fired up for this one. That, for me, has to be a certainty. And we lost La Liga in really sloppy fashion. And we just didn't look bright enough. And we haven't looked bright enough, really. And that has to change now. It really does. And... I certainly back the team enough, I trust it enough to see an Im some improvement at least, and I'm just hoping that we see some improvement not only from the players, but also for from Kike Setien, you know. It's a good test for the new manager, well yeah, we say new, he's been here for a while now, but it just still feels like we're still oozing our way into his methods, and I just don't know if I trust him or his staff yet. I don't particularly like the, like the dynamic we've got going on right now between the players and the coaches, and it is hurting us that, and right now we've got to improve our play, the players have to improve, you know, the coach has to improve in his methods too, and... All, the, all around, you know, the whole system right now at Barcelona does have to change, especially for these Champions League games. But, you know, it's in the balance too. You know, it's not like this is going to be a free pass. You know, we were really lethargic against Napoli when we played them in Naples. And they were, you know, very resistant in that low block of theirs. And in the away, in the away leg, guys, you know, we barely created anything. And for me, that has to change. And that's really been the case since Kike Setien has arrived. We aren't creating no way near enough. And we don't have enough spark. We don't have enough creation energy or intent in the final third and I don't want to see one or two chances in each half against Napoli it just can't carry on and we won't win the Champions League like that Barcelona we need to be fit we need to be determined and honestly guys we have to have that right mentality that's absolutely key you know it's one all here we've got our away goal but let's go out and win this game comfortably you know we are Barcelona we should be beating Napoli that has to happen tomorrow and we can't forget, guys, we've had some absolutely traumatising Champions League results in the last years. We really have. But right now, this is set up nicely for us. If we beat Napoli, yes, we've got some really hard games coming up. My, you know, my God, they are tough. You're looking at the likes of Bayern Munich, Juventus, Manchester City, you know, Atletico Madrid in the final, maybe. Same goes for PSG. And there's a lot of hard teams coming up. But if we get through Napoli, guys, we're going to be playing, you know, just one game, not two legs. That's obviously much better for us. There won't be any of the collapses in the second leg. It's all on the 90 minutes. And yes, it's against good teams, but with our team, there is a chance. We're a wonderful form at home in the Champions League. It is our temple, and Napoli will be here tomorrow evening. It's a Champions League night that Barcelona simply have to win on. And if we take a look at Napoli then, guys, and I think really it's been a disappointing season for Napoli. Ever since Sarri's gone, they just haven't been competing for that Serie A title, and for me, Gattuso has improved them. He really has, and they have got a trophy. They beat Juventus in the Coppa Italia, which was a really great result for them. But I just don't know how good they really are. They've had a disappointing campaign, I found, in the Serie A. You know, they've got a fine squad, certainly. They can cause us problems, but their season, it hasn't been good. And for me, Barcelona, we just simply have to win this game. It is worth noting that Napoli did recently beat Lazio 3-1, and well, really, they should be sharper going into this one, considering they've only just finished their league last weekend, but I don't really buy that narrative. You look at Sevilla, uh, I think it was last night at the time I'm recording this video, they ran all over Roma despite not playing for three weeks, whereas Roma really had just come off the end of their season, they would have been, you know, in full fit condition. Sevilla wouldn't have been, you would have thought, but Sevilla with a much better side and ran all over the, the Romans, so I wouldn't buy too much into that, honestly. I just think whoever's really really, you know, wants to play better, wants to care more on the day, is going to progress. The interesting thing about Napoli tomorrow, though, really will be their approach. How are they going to line up, guys? I think personnel, we kind of know. But, you know, what's the system going to be? Are they going to try and hurt Barcelona? Because I think they do have quality to actually hurt us and break us down in the final third. But are they just going to sit in that low block, you know, make it hard to play through us? Because they know that's a really good way of getting at Barcelona. And teams, it's been proven, really, that that's the best way of going at it. We've seen teams like Villarreal try and come up, you know, come out, leave more space in behind. And Barca just pick you off when you do that. So it's going to be up in the air for Gattuso. They know they need to score if they want to go through. I think he'll go for the low block. I think they'll stay quite deep. They'll give us the ball and then try and hit us on the break with some sharp chances. And that could hurt Barca. We have to be ready for that. We really do. 
And let's go briefly over some team news here, guys. For Barcelona, there will not be any Umtiti or Dembélé due to injuries. They're still not fit. Um, Vidal and Busquets are suspended. Those are two massive misses for us, in my opinion. Really, the core of the Barca midfield will not be there tomorrow. And Braithwaite is actually eligible for this fixture. So he's not going to be available for us either. That's less firepower in attack, you could say. For Napoli, they did have some struggles, but I think they've actually all recovered. Both Manalas and Insigne, I think, have now recovered, are going to be fit to start, and that's definitely a negative aspect for Barcelona. Let's go on to lineups then. There's quite a lot to discuss here, guys. Let's start with the Barcelona lineup. And, well, what you're seeing on your screen right now is, well, my predicted lineup for the game. This is, if I had to give you an 11 with a gun to my head and I had to get it right, this is the 11 I'd give you. This is because I just think Setien is going to put all the experience on the line here, not really think about the game too much and just say, we need to get through here. And let's look through here. To Stegen in goal, I think Semedo, Piquet, Longley, and Alba will be the back four. In midfield, we're looking at Roberto, Rakitic and De Jong. And up front, Messi just in behind the likes of Suarez and Griezmann. The talking points really are, guys... Where does Anasul Fati come in? You know, does he start? Does he maybe rest Griezmann? Does he take Griezmann out for this game, perhaps? And also midfield, does he bring Ricky Puchin maybe ahead of the likes of Roberto, Rakitic, or maybe even Samedo there and drop Roberto to right back? So those are the two real debates. But if I was to give you a lineup, I think he's going to go experience. We've just got to hope that has enough in it. And I don't know if it does. I look at that midfield and I think, where's the link from midfield to attack there? Yes, you could say Messi. He's in more of that number 10 role, which definitely suits him a lot more. But I just look for a midfielder there to pass the ball on to break some lines. And I don't know if I see one. I definitely do with Ricky Porch and also Anastol Fati, guys, for that width that we need against Napoli. That, you know, dynamism to break down a defence. Look, Suarez, Griezmann and Messi, you won't really find three better quality forwards in Europe. But I just think on the day, to stretch Napoli, to help, to hurt them, really, we need someone like Anastol Fati. And we certainly saw that in the away leg in Naples, you know. There was barely anything going forward for Barcelona. It was all too central and... I think Ansu Fati could be a real talent in this game, but it's all up in the air. What will we go with? I think we're going to go for a, you know, a sort of 4-3-1-2, 4-3-3 shape. There was rumours of like a 5-back, a 3-back sort of thing. That could help incorporate a few other players, but now that Griezmann is back, guys, I think all three of Messi, Suarez and Griezmann will be starting, so I just think it's safer for Setien to go with this sort of shape. Personnel-wise, I would definitely consider to keep Pouch, maybe even Ansu Fati as well, but we've just got to wait and see. On to Napoli's lineup then. This is actually really straightforward. I can't see them going for anything different from this unless there are late injury concerns. So, in goal, Ospina is the chosen goalkeeper for Napoli. It's probably a better option than Meret. In defence, Husay will start a right back. Mario Roy will start a left back. In defence, Koulibaly is going to be back. He wasn't there for the reverse fixture. And I think Manalas is now fit. If he isn't, Di Lorenzo will be coming into centre-back. In the midfield, they've got lovely balance. Demma is kind of be, going to be sitting in front of the defence. And then they've got Fabian Ruiz and Zielinski in the interior slots, which, for me, you know, that's two cracking players. And then they've gone for Sarri's favourite front three, I believe. Callejon, Mertens and Insigne. I think Insigne is going to be back fit. I think he's ready for this one. And it's a dangerous front three. It may be a lax bit of height, someone to occupy the centre-backs. But, boy, has it got quality. And Barca have to watch out for those three. On to my prediction then, guys, and I'm going to be going for Barcelona 2, Napoli 0. I'm going for a steady Barca victory, a composed, determined effort, really efficient Barca. But really, guys, I spoke about it earlier, and I think I'm just going to stress it. Barca have to generate opportunities. It's been a massive, you know, almost downside of Setien coming in as the manager. We don't create anywhere near as much as we did under Valverde. There just isn't as much attack. There isn't as much, you know, you think, oh, that's a good chance. There's none of that, really. It's kind of just passing sideways, all a bit too dull and boring. Barca have to hurt Napoli tomorrow. If we make it too easy for them, if it's half an hour we've had one shot on target, they're going to like that. They're going to scramble onto that. They're going to hold onto that and wait there for their chance. But Barcelona, we have to really go for this one. We have to hurt Napoli, get in behind them, cause them issues. And that's why I've mentioned the likes of Ricky Puch and Anasul Fati, because those are players that can do that. And I don't know in the lineup I showed you earlier whether we have enough of those players. Messi may be the only one who can really, really hurt teams. And the others are just like, you know, they're, they're good players, but I don't know what it is about them if they can really, really generate good opportunities for us. And, well, really, guys, for Barca, this is absolutely huge. Defeat here for me would be absolutely embarrassing. It really would for the whole club. Just, you know, the way we're trying to go this season after having a really poor campaign. We can't go out to Napoli. We really can't. And surely if we did, it would spell the end for Setien as the coach. But, guys, we have to win here. I'm going to keep saying it because we just have to. And, you know, I back the team to do their jobs defensively. It's all about, you know, watching the overloads on the right and left-hand sides. And just do it watching him in, marking him in, tracking, pressing. I think Vidal mentioned it in a, in a press conference. Yeah, he just said, 
Barca have to, you know, press at the right times. And we really do out of possession. The team's got to work hard. And I worry with that front three of how much hard work is actually going to be done, especially with how narrow it is. Napoli could gen definitely generate opportunities on the wings, and players like Alba and Semedo will have a big task to deal with that. But then again, that's probably why the likes of Roberto, um, um, Rakitic, and also you know De Jong are going to be in the midfield to help block all the width and help block all the options. And that is a good pressing midfield, which could be a positive of seeing those guys start. But guys, it should be a good game. It really should for you neutrals tuning in. I just want to see us playing well. I really do... Um, like I say, Barca for me, I've just looked really poor, you know, without really any potence in the final third. And we've got to improve that for this game. And for me, Fatih and Ricky will surely play some sort of a role, even if it's off the bench, just to consolidate the victory or whatever. You'd think they will definitely be on the pitch at some point tomorrow. And Barca guys need to show their class here against Napoli. It's a massive game. It's as big as it gets. And that's where the video ends. Leave all your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. It is huge. And I'll see you guys for the review of the game on Sunday. I'll see you guys then. Until then, enjoy yourselves and goodbye.